Hello and welcome back. Made the trek back down here to the Egyptian theater and Alex is out on the road. But before we get to that interview, let's look at where we're at on the fundraising scale. So we're at $15,000, $15,075 to be fact. And so that puts us at 60% of our goal, which again is $25,000 today on Give to Kelb County. Reminder, in case you've missed it, we do have a board booster that is going to unlock when we hit that $22,000 mark. That'll help get us over that goal of 25,000. So guys, we are getting so close. We're less than seven grand away from really hitting that ultimate goal. So go to lightscameradonate.org right now to make those donations. Again, not only is it the board boost that's gonna happen, but the overall Give to Kelp County boost, which is currently over $200,000, which is proportionally matched across all of these lovely nonprofits that are participating today. So we are going to talk with someone who helped host a wonderful event here back in February. Alex is currently on campus. Oh my gosh, thank you, Brandon. I completely forgot about the donor names. Let's go to the donor names. James E. Hovis, Sean and Molly O'Neill. Thank you, Sean and Molly. Kate Jaraska, Jan Kutz, our friend over at Stagecoach. Rachel Exedis, another NIUer. Alex Hanold and Seymour B. Dirty name, we don't know. But thank you to everyone that just came in over the past hour. We have many more to come. So make sure that you get those donations in right now at lightscameradonate.org. So where was I? I was talking about a great event that we had back in February. And Alex is on campus right now talking with a lovely Mr. Eric Johnson who helped bring some great magic to our stage. So let's head it over to NIU with Alex. Thanks, Janine. Uh, I'm here live on the NIU campus here in the uh, music building with mm -hmm. Eric Johnson. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Awesome. Uh, Great pleasure. For those that might not know you, can you introduce yourself real quick? You're a man of many hats. Sure. Uh, so right now in this building, I'm the director of choral activities here at Northern Illinois University, and I've been here for 25 years, where I direct concert choir, chamber choir, and teach various um, extra classes. And then I'm also the founding artistic director for Cor Canciamo, which is a, a resident uh, professional, professional choral ensemble here in the School of Music. And we perform throughout the DeKalb County area and Northern Illinois. And then I'm also music director at uh, First United Methodist Church here in town. And Cor Canciamo uh, is participating today as mm -hmm. well on a giving right. day. Uh, have you guys participated in years past? Yeah, this is about our fifth year with Cor Canciamo that we're participating in the giving day. Please consider joining us. Um, we have lots of different programs that really benefit from, from the uh, gifts that we receive uh, for things like we partner with the uh, Egyptian Theater on something called the Big Sing, which is an event that happens in the fall where we bring together area high schools and Cor Canciamo and uh, ensembles from NIU School of Music to celebrate the choral arts. There are so many great choral programs in the community and it's really great to have a venue like the Egyptian Theater to showcase the talents and to highlight from the professional level of Cork Canciamo to the great artistry that's happening in our schools. Yeah, and the big thing, uh, we've done it, what now, two years? We've done two years in a row, yes. So this fall will be uh, three years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a great opportunity to bring all sorts of different groups together. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about what that experience is like for the students, um, you know, from high school to professionals to college, to be able to be in the same event and you know, sure. be, be out in the community? Yeah, so what's one of the many missions of Cor Canciamo is educational outreach, and we spend a lot of time partnering with high school choral programs, and part of the value of that is that the high school students get to see that there's life beyond high school to make music, and they get to rehearse with and interact with professional singers, so they get a flavor of the next level, or the next two levels, if you will, um, and we get to celebrate the great work that they're doing now, uh, so it's, it, it's a win-win and um, it's a really close mission to Cor Canciamo that not only do we do our own artistic excellence, but we inspire and we plant the seeds for the next generations. And again, at the Egyptians, a great place to do that because it's a community-focused event in a beautiful community space, and we can draw from all different parts of the county to bring ensembles together. Well, it's really neat to see you know all of those different groups come together. They mm -hmm. get to now perform in front of audiences that wouldn't normally get to hear them. Uh, that don't necessarily come on campus or don't go to mm -hmm. high schools uh, to see some of that. So it's a really cool opportunity to showcase, uh, like you Absolutely. said, all of the amazing talent that we have uh, within the community. Absolutely. Um, now, speaking of uh, you know coming out into the community, uh, we had a phenomenal event uh, yes, back did. at the beginning of February. 
Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, bringing two NIU choral groups together sure. for the first time, I believe, uh, at the yes. Mavis Staples concert that we hosted? So yeah, back in January, yeah, very beginning of very February. Beginning of February yeah. uh, we had the great opportunity to kind of be an opening act for Mavis Staples, an American icon, uh, legend by any definition, uh, was performing at the Egyptian Theater, and we were able to bring the NIU Concert Choir and the NIU Black Chorus together to perform three works to start that program off. And it was a historic event. It was the first time that those two groups, groups have performed together ever in the existence of the Black Chorus, which started in the late 60s up until now, 2023. It's a remarkably long time for nothing to have happened. Um, it was an amazing opportunity. We made lots of great connections and, and built some bridges. And again, talking about community, the Mavis Staple events in particular um, was wonderful because we really brought different parts of DeKalb to the same stage, mm -hmm. to the same space, and uh, celebrated the arts and celebrated the commonality of the arts. And that's one of the beautiful things about music is that's a, that's a natural bridge where the music we sing that inspires our hearts is the same music that can inspire others. And to get to do that on stage is a visual representation of what should be happening much more often. Yeah. And the Mavis Staples concert was a great chance to do that. What was it like for the students to be able to perform not only in the Egyptian theater, out in the community in front of a big crowd, but before you know Mavis, uh, they did three pieces and the right. second piece they had a standing ovation before they were even done. Before they were even done. Yeah, yeah it was a powerful, powerful experience. Um, they were excited going in. To be honest and fair, um, I had to teach them a little bit about who Mavis Staples was. Okay. <laughs> um, but as they learned more, uh, they, they, they came back and it was kind of funny. A lot of their parents, they came back after I, we talked about it and they said, my parents are so jealous that I get to do this. <laughs> um, and then once they realized who she was and what we were doing, they just really had a, just a deeper appreciation and, and impact for what the concert was. Yeah, it was just amazing to see. I mean, they were just on cloud nine. Yep, they it seemed were. like the rest of the night. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we've had great opportunities between the Big Sing, Mavis Staples, and uh, all the different outreach that Cor Contiamo does as well. We talk about today, you know, it's not just about supporting the Egyptian Theater or Cor Contiamo or any mm -hmm. of the other nonprofits. It's really about supporting all of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so many donors out there today are donating to multiple nonprofits. Sure. Um, what would be your pitch? Why is it important for donors out there to invest in the arts and support the nonprofit arts organizations today? Well, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, that's a fabulous question and, and one that it, uh, hits home in many ways. And start with why art, right? Um, art exists as an expression of what it means to be human. And through the exploration of what it means to be human, we can share our ideas, share our experiences, learn and grow. So that it's, it's an elevation of the human spirit, it's an enrichment of the human soul as a performer, but also as an audience member. And you can experience new lives and different perspectives and different traditions and get a little bit more aware of what's going on in the world. Um, so, you know, art, music changes lives. And in our reality, uh, arts organizations need funding. There aren't a lot of sources out there to secure grants and to secure significant funding, and things cost money. That's bottom line, right? It costs mm -hmm. money to turn on the light switch. It costs money to pay artists. Um, so that funding really matters. Um, on a different vein, I heard an interesting quote, and I wish I could cite it, um, but I just heard it recently, where they talked about art, the importance of art is that it makes you feel. We can talk about the problems in the world, but until we feel and experience things and have that empathy for others, it's very hard for people to change. It's so comfortable and easy to be in my space and think my way away from everything. But as soon as you open the door to one's heart and to the community and to the human experience, you start to see the commonality and humanity in others. And when we do that, we move the needle forward. We make the world a better place, we make the community a better place, we make the world in which the students experience better. Whether it's theater, visual arts, music, they all have that capacity to help people feel. And when we feel and connect that empathy to the world around us, we all win. And supporting the arts is how that happens. Yeah, and I, you know, personally I love seeing these different arts events, uh, whether it's at the Egyptian Theater here mm -hmm. on campus, 
that how it brings people together that wouldn't normally be sitting yep. in the same room together. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were just talking about Mavis Staples and to look at that and to see who is in the audience. Absolutely. And they are, you know, neighbors within our community, students on campus, mm -hmm. tourists from, you know, way outside of our community. Right. Uh, they get to sit, you know, shoulder to shoulder uh, and enjoy and experience a one-time thing, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a live performance. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, that's, you know, our pitch today. Yeah. Uh, support I have one the more pitch for you, too. Already. The other pitch is an economic one. He was just talking about the seats filled in the Egyptian theater. You had several hundred people that left that theater hungry. Yeah. You had several people that wanted to go out to dinner somewhere. You had several people that may have considered staying at a hotel somewhere. That's actually economic benefits for the community. And um, there are as many uh, research articles as you'd like to see about how the arts impact a, a community positively through the economic development. So it's, uh, from whatever lens you look through, it's a win. Yes. Um, and if people want to learn more about Cor Cantiamo mm -hmm. or all of the phenomenal uh, performances happening here on the NIU campus, mm -hmm. uh, where can people go find Well, for Cor Cantiamo, go to our webpage, which is corcanciamo.org, so C-O-R-C-A-N-T-I-A-M-O.org. Um, and for School of Music, if you just type in NIU School of Music, you'll land on our front page, and there's a button for calendar that lists all the concerts and things that are going on in the world. And there's stuff almost every day. Oh, my uh, Lord, especially yeah. this time of year. Yes. Although we're, we're just about wrapping up here at the end of May, but from August to May, there's something cooking somewhere. Yeah, no matter what you're interested in, there's something here you on bet. campus or within the greater DeKalb community. Absolutely. So, well, thank you so much. We're going to send thank it you. back to Janine over at the Egyptian Theater and uh, going to hop in the car and head back over there. All right. Thank you so much, Alex. We love talking with Eric, especially about that exciting event we had back in February when we had the legendary Mavis Staples right here on our stage, which was opened by the NIU Concert Choir and the NIU Black Choir coming together for the very first time. As you heard, there truly were people giving standing ovations, and it was just a great night. So thank you so much to Eric for participating. So we are still over just over $15,000, and if you had noticed, we crossed the 100 donor mark. So we're at 102 donors, which we absolutely love as we talk about on this day. No dollar amount is too small or too big. Everyone can get involved today during Give to Kelb County. So how can you give if you haven't done yet today? Go to lightscameradonate.org right now. That'll take you right to the Egyptian Theaters page. You have until midnight tonight to get those donations in. So we're just under the six hour mark. And reminder, we are going to keep coming to you live. We only have seven, eight, and nine, so there's only three more left. Only. But it's been uh, two more guests, and then we'll wrap up the day with me and Alex at 9 o'clock. And hopefully, we can get to that goal of $25,000 by 9 p.m. So get those donations rolling in. We've had some cats and dogs and all different types of animals donate. So if you have a pet that wants to give to the arts and give to the Egyptian theater, we'd love to recognize them. So let's see you at the next one. We'll be back here. 7 o'clock.